It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? I don't know if you can see, but there's my little squirrel pal that comes and checks in on me about every day. You don't get me. You don't know what that means. Just look at how I'm spending. My chain is ridiculous. I trained in the trenches. Nigga, I'm spot on. My aim is tremendous. This is a pretty I came for the digits. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Hope everybody's doing good. First thing I want to say is, today is Veterans Day, so any veterans that may be watching, much respect to you and I salute you. Thank you for all your service. The other thing that happened this week is we went back into time. We lost an hour on Sunday, so I had this idea, why don't I revisit some of my old mixes from the past and bring them to life by showing you how we can make things better. For this series, I want to incorporate two things to share with you. I want to incorporate some of my favorite fall dishes and relate food to our mixes. For today's menu, we have one of my favorite all-time fall snacks, s'mores Pop-Tarts. So what I'm going to do is pull up a mix from the past. We're going to revisit it, see how terribly it was recorded, see how we can fix it and make it sound better, relating that to some of the ingredients in s'mores. If you're ready, let's go. In today's video, our two main ingredients, not only for the song, but for my belly, we've got our s'mores Pop-Tarts, and I've got a big jug of apple cider. We're gonna relate these ingredients to this mix. It's a hip hop song called Watch Him Now by my friend Chris is star out of Memphis, Tennessee. We recorded this in November of 2017, and it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a big jug of apple cider, and we'll tackle this mix. And I spilled it. Let's go ahead and get to this. Ooey gooey in the inside. Plug in my hard drive. Time for some fresh apple cider. Definitely taste the apples. It's cinnamony, it is sweet, it is tart. Overall has a well-rounded flavor. It is crisp and it is satisfying. Just a quick word, this is a hip hop song. So keep in mind, being a hip hop song, there are some explicit lyrics in here. So if that offends you, you might not want to watch this video, but the concepts that are being applied here, as far as the EQ and compression and limiting will apply to just about any production. So this particular recording is saved under a session called Paul V slash Chris is star under my portfolio mixes folder. What we want to do is we'll drag this up to this folder here, 1111 today's date. We'll drag that up. Just minimize this. Here's the session. So the initial session was from November 6, 2017. So it's just a little over four years ago. Let's open this up. We'll double click. It might take a second. All right, we're on the mixer window. Here's our audio view. Let's just listen to this. And then what I want to do is start completely fresh. And then that way we'll have a fresh slate to remix this on. Here we go. Building. This is a big demo. Purchase the street to use it. Okay, so that's what it sounds like there. 
Uh, one thing I want to do is we'll save this as a completely new session. We may run into some problems, and if we do, I'll show you how to fix that. So we'll go to File and Save As, and then we'll just call this Watch Him Now 1111 Mix. Path to session contains illegal characters. Well, do you remember when I said that slash mark can give us issues? For some reason, Pro Tools has some kind of weird thing in it that it just does not like these slash marks. So let's do this. If we go to the 1111 mix, we'll create a whole new folder. We'll title this Watch Him Now. No slashes. We'll create that. And then we'll keep this the same. And then we'll just save. Saves our problem. Sometimes you just got to take that slash out. Now let's close this. And then what we'll want to do is we'll go to that new folder and then we'll start editing from there. Here's our 1111 folder. Here is the watch him now. And then we'll open this. And then I'm not going to save any of those changes from the previous session. Cool. So we are in the brand new session, the 1111 mix. So what we can do is these are all highlighted here. If we hit shift option, remember that from the last video, we're going to go to these plugins or inserts and we're going to click on no insert. It's going to take everything off, so we're going to start afresh. Now, here's our master fader. We can only do this one at a time, so we'll go to no insert, take the view meter off, and then we'll take our stereo width off. Let's listen to this again without any plugins. Quick pop dry break. What do we notice about the pop tart? We've got our bottom here. This is probably made out of some kind of graham cracker crumble graham crackers and butter. In the middle, we've got our filling, which is our s'mores, probably chocolate and marshmallow. And then here on the top, we've got some kind of like chocolate glaze. So how can we relate those ingredients to this mix? Well, our base on this is our MP3 song, the beat. And then our next level here in the middle is our vocal by Chris. And then we have our master fader. So how can we incorporate some of these into this? Well, we've got our bass level in our middle, which is his vocals. And then on the top here, like we said, we've got that chocolate glaze. That's gonna be our master fader. So we're gonna smooth things over. We're gonna get some levels right, and we're gonna fix this. So one thing I like to do is we'll click on all these, hit option, and then that takes our faders to unity right at this zero mark here. We'll hit shift option and then we'll go up here to our inserts and let's search for something. It's called trim. It's going to help us with our gain. So let's solo this and we'll notice that it gets a little loud here. Let's do this like right here in this spot. See how we're up here like the naked five? Let's take this and bring it down. So we're no more than like negative 10 right there. Pretty good starting point. On Chris's vocal. Bars, like they came with receipts. You were lame in the streets. You probably thank the police. I entangled a beat. Boys dead and we speak. Got a blunt full of kush. I am higher than me. What I'm doing is, really as do. he's doing his verse, I'm pulling this gain over this just a little bit, just to make sure that that's like it's right like here between negative 15 and negative 10. Because the vocal, we always want that to be front and center above all the music. So let's listen to this. Higher than me. But imagine the view, just engage with the view. 
keep a tight knit crew. But you nigga might kill you. Shit, gotta watch him too. All right, so we've got levels in a little bit better spot. Let's solo this. So under our trim, we'll add some EQ. My favorite plugin, we go to EQ Fab Filter Pro Q2. I haven't upgraded to the three yet because I'm not a big. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's do this here. We will click on like this section here. That's gonna allow you to loop it. Real quick lesson on EQ. So the human ear can hear from 20 hertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz. So down here we have your low frequencies, 20 hertz up to like maybe 400. And then you've got your, uh, like your mids, like your low mids, and you have your mids, then you have your mid highs, then you have your highs. So what we'll do is when we play this, you'll see anytime that kick drum hits, you'll see a frequency, uh, <laughs> you'll see a frequency in this area kind of jump up. So we'll look at that. So right there, it will boost that. And that's gonna accentuate that specific frequency. And then like right here, we'll roll off, we'll click on the shelf and do a low cut. So what this is doing is cutting or getting rid of those frequencies from this low area here that don't need to be there. It's just like the rumble of the recording. So we've got that rolled off, we're boosting this. Right here, we can see some weird little frequencies. We're gonna pull these out. That'll help do two things. It'll pull that, that nasal sound out and it'll help accentuate that kick drum too. You notice there's a frequency there. Let's boost that just a little bit. Quick rule of thumb, when you are boosting, you wanna make it rather wide. If you're cutting, you wanna make it a narrow on EQ. And then we'll do like a little shelf right here. And the shelf is gonna be like this. So it looks like a shelf. You can put something on top of it. Here's what it looks like. When we boost this, that's our shelf. Like you can set something right there. Cool, so we've got that EQ'd. Let's click on this to real quick, just do a loop. Bypass, no EQ. Hey, you can hear that kick drum. Cool. Let's take a listen to Chris's vocal. Amethyst in the air. One thing I can do if I want to move this plug in from one track to the next, you can hit Option and drag. Now we'll notice it has the same EQ pattern. So we'll just click on the default setting and let's listen to Chris's vocal here. Oh, you're tired about the calm. I'm a beast, I'm a dog. So two things, we wanna low cut this, get rid of those like low rumbly frequencies. Fuck a chain, fuck a leash. So he's got some frequencies here in the mid range. I'ma bring back bars. One thing we can do to help find these and pull them out is called a sweep method. Like that came with receipts. So this is all about using your ear, but this plugin helps you to visually see things. You were lame in the streets. We'll see right here, there's a lot the of mid-range frequencies right here. Let's do this. Let's click on this and we'll boost things up. And it'll probably sound kind of buzzy, kind of harsh. It hurts your ears. And that's when you know you want to pull those out. Please, I entangle the beat. Voice the air that we speak. Sounds like a telephone effect. I don't like that. We'll pull this out. Make it a little more narrow. Got a block full of cush. I am higher than me. Man, it's really hard to do. But imagine the view. You hear how that sounds kind of really muffled and just like garbled up. We'll pull that out. Just engage with a few. Keep a tight knit crew. But your nigga might kill you. Gotta watch him too. Gotta watch him too. I'ma watch him too. So like right there, we'll pull this out. I'm gonna pull that down a little bit, make it a more aggressive dip. Man, that nigga might kill you. Shit, gotta watch him too. I'm gonna watch him too. Man, that nigga might kill you. Right there, about 43. Shit, gotta watch him too. Bypass. 
I'm gonna watch him too. That I watch him too. You notice that lower registered frequency that just doesn't sound good. You can hear those nasally frequencies there. Cause this nigga might kill you. Shit, gotta watch him too. I'm gonna watch him too. That I watch him too. Do you see how that brings out a little more clarity? It's a little more clear sounding. It just sounds better. So let's listen to both of these here. Gee, that nigga might kill you. Shit, gotta watch him too. I don't play movies. I ain't not an actor. I ain't not moving. If money ain't a factor, look at that group now. The girl in the back up. She'll do the whole crew now. Two things that I need to take care of. Uh, his vocal is still not coming out. So let's add something called compression. So what this does is if you have a spot here, let's take a look at these waveforms. So do you see how in this section here, definitely right here, it's a lot louder, it's a lot more dynamic, but here in this part, it's a lot quieter. Well, what the compression is gonna do is going to lower this section, but bring out this part here. So it's gonna even things out a little bit. So what you can do here, let's actually, here's another view you can look at. Instead of going back and forth, if we click on this little tab here, we can look at comments, preamps, instrument. Let's go to these inserts here. There we go. So that's the same view as we see on our mixer. So that way you don't have to go back and forth. Let's just use a basic stock compressor. We'll go here to plugin and dynamics. Then let's go to the BF76, stands for Bomb Factory and it's modeled after the 1176 compressor. And then what we'll do, just to bring things up a little bit, we'll take this input, bring that up a hair, and listen. I'm gonna watch him too, that I watch him too. Cause you nigga might kill you. Shit, gotta watch him too. I'm gonna watch him too. Usually on your attack, the attack is how quickly it kicks in. You can remember that by attack, quick, attack, quick. You generally wanna have a quick attack and then a slower release. That I watch him too. Gee, that nigga might kill you. Shit, gotta watch him too. I don't play no I ain't not act up. I ain't not doing that. If money ain't a factor, look at that group now. The girl in the back up. She'll do the whole crew now. We'll give her right back, bro. Cool. But one thing that I notice here, on my master fader, we're clipping. We've got that red there. It's kind of like a red light. You want to stop. That's not a good sign. Let's do this here. On uh, some of the loudest parts of things, verse three. Let's do this. Let's go to our insert and we'll add an EQ and we'll go back here to my favorite, the, that's right. Fab Filter Pro Q2. We'll boost this right here. When you're doing things on your master fader, you basically want to put these as small moves. Bigger ones on your individual tracks and buses, but these will just actually just do small moves here. We'll roll this off right down there. Low cut. Whoa, not that much. Look at that group now. Pull out some of these nasally mid range frequencies. Then do a shelf right here. So one thing we can do, let's go back to dynamics. This time, instead of looking for compression, we're gonna look for a limiter. What the heck is that? Just as the name implied, it's going to limit that signal. Let's go to the Maxim stereo. What we'll do on our signaling, we'll take this down to negative three. Okay, negative 3.1. So what that's gonna do is when the signal on the master fader here gets to about negative three, it is not getting any louder. It will stop at that point, so it won't distort and it won't clip. Let's check it out. So I'm cool with the devil, cause his daddy straight kid. 
So let's quickly talk about threshold. So the threshold determines when limiting begins while output ceiling specifies how much limiting is applied. So the threshold is actually going to increase our volume here. So let's pull this down a little bit. All right, the threshold control determines the level above which input peaks will be limited. So let's watch this signal right here. Let's click on a more, a little longer section here. Cool. So that is how we make things sound better in three simple steps. We looked at gain staging and then some EQ and limiting on that master fader. We got the levels right. There's no clipping. We brought things out with the compressor and the limiter. And that's how you take your mixes from here to here. In wrapping up our video today, I incorporated one of my favorite fall snacks. We related these ingredients to this mix, the graham cracker crust was right here, it was our MP3 track, our gooey chocolatey filling was our vocal, and then our chocolatey smooth layer was right here. It was our master fader. We did things in three steps. We put a little EQ on all the tracks, we fixed his vocals, we smoothed things out, took the lows, made them louder, took the high parts, made them softer, and we compressed things. On the master fader, we added EQ, and we added some limiting and we smoothed out the whole mix and made it more well-rounded. And that's how you take your productions from here to here. As always, I appreciate you watching so much. It means a lot to me. I hope you gained some knowledge and learned a lot today. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. As always, I gotta ask you to smash that subscribe button, thumbs up, leave comments if you learned anything. Let me know what you'd like to see. And again, if you have forgot my name, I'm not gonna let you forget. My name is Paul to the fifth. fifth.